mowing today and just going to a quick video based on marketing your own business now the things that have helped me I'm no professional but I'm just going to share with you things that have worked for me uh, free uh, now the best thing that I found was here in Australia we've got a uh, telephone listing book which is called yellow pages and that's for businesses with the yellow pages we can actually uh, put in a or create a free listing with the free listing within a week it automatically links up to Google Maps now the good thing about Google Maps is that uh, you've got yourself like lo locally listed so that when people Google for your for your services or our services for instance say for argument's sake law mowing in my area um, basically the map will come up with listings of all the, all the companies a lot of people pay for you know going up the ladder in the listings but a lot of people don't usually people in general don't really go through the list they look straight away at the map um, when I did business marketing one of the key factors in relation to a successful business marketing tool is being very visual um, now that's the first part of it. A map will show you, hang on, this guy's just around the corner from us. Let's call this guy. So that's the first part of visual. The second part of visual is that when they look at your listing and they look at um, what you've got there, the content and all that type of stuff. Um, if you've got a logo there that's got something like, for argument's sake, I had a picture of a lawnmower guy. A lot of you guys know which one it was. The little red man with a lawnmower. So straight away, even if people are looking for yellow pages, like a book, and they're looking at all the listings all listed, or there's a leaf, someone's got a picture of a, a tree trunk or whatever it is, and you know, they're advertising as lawn mowing guys and you know, doing the extras. They don't look at that, they just look, oh, lawn mowing guy over here, over this, part, this side of the page, oh, this guy. Straight away, they, they identify what they're looking for. Um, that's the second rule. And now the thing is, I had to have that logo there at the top of the page, so I know straight away, okay, right bloke, he's a lawn mowing guy, this is perfect. In the content, you can always put down there, because once you have a Google account, you can go into this Google Maps link, and you can, you can alter it, you can change it, you can do whatever you want, you can create your own website, you can put your own website link in there and all this type of stuff. You can always put in there as well times of operation when you're open and all this type of open for business. Um, the, one of the key things that you've really got to do with business marketing as well, you've always got to put down um, not only visual, but you've got to put down some details like prices because the way that communities are these days, you know, society is nowadays, people are looking for prices. Um, now the first thing is, you know, when you go on the internet, you're looking for something, you're looking for a, an item or whatever, you think, oh yeah, 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 this, that's, that's the item I want, yeah, no worries. Where's the price? How much is this thing? Everyone wants to know price. So in your listing, you put down there an estimate. Um, if you put down a certain price, people will hold you to that and say, well, hang on, you said in your listing there, you know, $50 a lawn. Yeah, I've got a big lawn, so what? But you said $50 a, a lawn. So if you put down an estimate, a rough estimate, something like, you know, based on a standard house, um, lawn front and back would be yada, 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 $80, whatever it is, you know, $50, $80, whatever your, your rates are. You put that down so they already know. Now, that was, that was one of the things that I started off with and that was quite successful. Uh, another thing that I did too was flyers. Now, when I first started the business, I did flyers. I created them myself, and the flyers were basically the logo at the top, the lawnmower man. So people know straight away from looking at the flyer. Okay, it's the lawnmower guy. Um, underneath it, a before and after shot of a lawn, uh, so they can see what you do, what it looks like when you finish, see what your product's like. So it's a product review, and. Um, Underneath that, I used to have, I will be in your street, if you need your lawns mowed, I will be in your street, dot, 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 and I'd hand write what day 
I'll be in that street because I'll be doing the lawns in that street. And underneath that, I put down a free quote for you, for your front lawn, dot, 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 and I'd hand write, you know, whatever the case may be, 20 bucks or something like that, because it's, it's an ordinary small lawn. And your nature strip included for, you know, $10 or whatever it is, you know. Some nature strips are, are quite big. Anyway, so they're, they're the type of things that I used to put down. I got 80% success rate with that um, flyer. And the funny thing about that flyer as well, which I didn't actually design it this way, but it actually benefited me, benefited me a lot in this way. I'd say about, I don't know, about 50, 60% of the people actually rang me up and said, oh great, look, um, I know you're gonna be in the street house this day. You got two weeks before you come here. This is great, you know. It's only gonna be, what, 20, 30 bucks or something else to get all the front done. Um, yeah, come and do our place, all this type of thing, and book you in, and all this type of thing. How do we pay you? And that's when you turn around and I would say, look, it's up to you. Pay cash if you want, leave the cash out. If you're there, pay me the cash, doesn't matter. Or if you want, uh, I'll send you my bank details and just put it straight in the bank. It might be at work when I'm out there. So, so these type of things, you know, so it's a way of making them feel safe and secure and all this type of thing and thinking, okay, no problem, just gonna do the front lawn. But 50, like I was saying before, 50 to 60% of them would turn around and say, while you're out here, can you give us a quote on the back lawn? So that initial part that you did at the beginning, like to say, you know, design those flyers and do all that type of stuff, ended up being a bigger job. So it's not just the front lawn type of thing, you know. And that grew because people are saying, oh, wow, that's great, yeah, oh, do the back lawn, yeah, no problems at all. And you might even turn around and say, okay, well, okay, oh, 50, 60 bucks, something like this type of thing. So for argument's sake, oh, okay, 20 bucks for the front lawn, 10 bucks for the nature strip, oh, your back lawn, oh, 50 bucks. But when they're calling you, they already got in their head, it's only gonna be 20 bucks to do the front lawn, oh, the 10 bucks for the front, yeah, nature strip. They don't add it together. A lot of people in general don't add it together and go, oh, geez, it's 30 bucks. How about we just get the front lawn done? But, you know, people in general or looked at it, looked at the stuff like this, because I always asked them as well and said, how did you find the business? How did you find the flyer? Was it intrusive? Anything like that? You know, by, you know, writing down, hand writing down, oh, I looked at your front lawn, it's going to cost this much. And a lot of people said, no, no, it wasn't intrusive at all. I think it would have been more intrusive if invasion of privacy and stuff like that, if I looked over the fence and said, oh, your back lawn, I had a quick look, it's gonna cost, that's a bit invasion of privacy type of stuff. So, you know, the good thing about it is that I've advertised for the front lawn, then they've turned around and said, give us a quote for the back lawn while you're here, you know, this type of stuff. And I've got that as well. And then over a period of time, um, they've worked it out that I'm not one of these people that are trying to rip everyone off and try to get money, 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 money. I'm trying to do scams and all this type of stuff. So they've worked it all out and think, oh, he's a nice guy, you're, you're honest, reliable, you turn up, you tell you, you're gonna turn up when you're gonna turn up and all this, you communicate and all this, which is a real, very important key factor in business marketing and operating. Communication is the key. You have to communicate. If you don't communicate, or if you just turn up and you say to them, oh, I'm in your street every fortnight, so I'll be here. You can't run a business like that because people might be on holidays. People might think, oh, I'm gonna change the lawn. I'm gonna make it grow more. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do something to the lawn. I'm gonna put weed and feed down. Or they might, might not have enough money. You know, the, the budget might be tight or something. So you can't just turn up there and just do the job. You can't do stuff like that. Your communication is the key. And the other good thing about communication as well is you're communicating with the client. You gotta put yourself in their shoes. Um, he's coming out, this is great, you know, he does what we want. That's what we want. That's great, we'll pay for that. Um, the last thing they want is someone mowing the lawns and then start like, oh, I just saw your, um, your hedge too, so I trimmed your hedge, so that's an extra 50 bucks. People are looking, what the hell? What's this guy He's trying to draw money out of it? So stuff like that, that's, that's wrong. You don't do it. And communication, keep the communication open because you, know, you might be sick. 
something's wrong, you can't make it there this week, you know, you've got to let them know, stuff like this. Um, one of the worst things is um, not knowing, you know, people not knowing, or, you know, people say, I've organised this guy to come out to do the lawns and everything else, or there's a plumber to come out to do this, this and that. Haven't seen him. Hasn't turned up, nothing. I mean, a lot of people, if there's not much competition out there, they'll say, I have to wait until he's available. That'll only last for so much until they get someone else. So, communication is a key. So, the good thing about the flyers, 80% success rate, that was unbelievable. And I stopped doing the flyers because I started doing the yellow pages part, and then that took over, and then next thing you know, I thought, wow, I'm getting flooded with work. Nowadays, um, like 10 years later, you know, I don't have to rely on all that now. Thank God, it's amazing, it's great. Um, now it's all word of mouth. Uh, also, I've got a lot of commercial uh, contracts as well. So, especially when it comes to winter and stuff like that, you know, I mean, it's a lot easier for us because you can, you know, time management is the key. And the other thing is to, you know, you put money aside each week, you know, in your savings and all that type of thing because running your own business, you can't have a sickie, you can't have holidays pay up front, you, you can't have all this type of stuff because you don't work, you don't make money, you don't eat, you die, basically. Um, so your own business, your own boss and all this type of thing. So marketing is a very important key factor in relation to a successful business. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that's always in the back of your mind. You're always thinking about, okay, what can I do to improve my business? Um, have I got clients that are, you know, that this bloke down the road, he doesn't care about the place. He just says, oh, can you just mow it? I don't care, just mow it. The landlord is coming out for inspection and, you know, he gets you to go out there probably once every couple of months and, you know, he hasn't paid for the last two times or, the, you know, he's late paying. Customers like this and you look at it and you go, oh, God, it's a jungle, man. It's a jungle. Jeez, you want me to look after it, you know, stuff like this. These type of clients, it's very important to basically do, excuse me, a business analysis of all your clients, the ones that are working for you, the ones that are not working for you. Excuse me. Um, start culling the clients that are no good for your business, the ones that uh, stress you out, take too much time, not worth it. Um, they cost too much money. I mean, when I say cost too much money, too much time. If you just spend too much time in there and it's not a high paying job, like you might say, oh, look, yeah, I'll do your front door, mate. A $40 job, it's nothing. I'm next door, no problems at all. I'll do it. I'll do the next door. I'm doing next doors, so I'll do yours. 40 bucks, and he goes, oh, great, great, great. Come, come, come. You know, and after a couple of months, you know, you think to yourself, that lawn's overgrown and he's still saying oh not yet not yet not yet you know stuff like that time to get rid of those they're the ones to get rid of um, and basically condense your round that's a very important thing too especially for time you're not wasting your time going from one suburb to another suburb plus petrol costs I mean you're not spending half a day running around going from this client to that client and all this type of stuff. So, what I'm trying to tell you here is marketing is the number one tool, especially for any small business, not just lawn mowing. I mean, I'm talking about lawn mowing because that's the business I'm in. And most of you guys here on YouTube are related to this. Um, you could be a plumber, you could be an electrician, you could be anything else, carpenter, whatever the case may be, a tradie, you could be, you know, you could be a doctor, you could be an accountant, you could be anything. Google, Yellow Pages, is free and easy. I won't say easy because a lot of people will say to you, ah, oh, it's easy, a kid can do it, a kid can do it. It's not really easy, but it's simple. If you get some basic ideas of you know, computer skills and stuff like that, you'd be able to do it yourself. Um, 
a logo if you can try to get something that's really close to what your business is the key to a logo is to have something that's very visual more than a fancy logo with letters you know like a corporate image but you get these corporate companies and it's got you know global structure company whatever it is and they got a G S you know that's corporate that's different when you're promoting your business as a small business, you want to be more visual. So in your logo, have something like, for argument's sake, lawn mowing business, you have a lawn mower guy there, or lawn mower. So people identify straight away what your business is about. So that's one of the main things there. And um, advertising, and advertising is very visual. A very visual appearance is the way to go. And when you're advertising, especially with flyers or anything like that, don't overdo it. Don't put too much in there. Too much content. Too many photos. Too many. People look at a flyer and they just go, I've, you know, I've always looked at it this way. It's a five second read. People look at a flyer, five seconds. That's it. That's all they've got time for. I know it sounds wrong, but that's my rule of thumb and that's what I've always run by. People open the flyer up and they go, wow. That's it. They're finished with it. So if they go, Wow, oh, it's a lawn mowing guy. Oh, oh shit, oh, he's gonna be in the street. Oh, cool. Yeah, we need the front lawn done. Yeah, hang on to this. There you go. If you had too many things in there, they look at it and go, oh, what is this? Okay, is it a lawn mowing guy? What's, what's this? What's all these other stuff? What? And start reading all the, they lose interest. And I think, this guy's going to try and milk us if we get this guy and he's going to try and get us to do all those things so if you just advertise your basic business uh, tool what you're doing very visual basically just write down you know uh, basically what you do and a price prices main thing too that's the main thing too because the community everyone's you know financially they're looking at alternatives so if you can put down a price in the advertising an estimate is the way to go you don't put down a set price a set price might be a big lawn might be a small lawn that we got they'll hold you to it and say oh, it says fifty dollars in here for a lawn our lawn is a lawn but it's a massive lawn so, you know, or it might have a massive big nature strip with a small front lawn, you know, stuff like this. So you put down a rough estimate between go to yard out, 50 to $80 for the average standard size home lawn, front and back. And you put in brackets there, stuff like, you know, includes whippersnippering, blowing, mowing, <clears throat> all the case. Um, there are companies out there that turn around and advertise and say, we'll mow your lawn for $35 an hour. And I know one big business that does this, and it's a bit of a rip-off, and people say, oh, this is great. They get them to come out, and they do it. Next thing you know, they ring them up and say, what about the edges and laying it all down? Oh, and that's another $35. So you, you don't do stuff like that. You, you don't try and rip people off and all this. You're trying to be honest, reliable, and communication. Communication is the key as well. You must communicate with the client. If you want to keep a client, communicate with them, be honest and reliable. And if you're feeling sick or you know you can't get to the area, that place tomorrow, you're looking at the, the diary and you think to yourself, damn, there's no way I'm gonna make it there tomorrow. You contact them, you be honest and don't say anything like, oh look, um, you know, crap, 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 crap. People can read between the lines and they see you down the road the next day. So you be honest and just say, look, I'm sorry, I won't be in your street tomorrow because I'm doing that street and I've got these extra jobs on. But however, you're first one on the list the next day. People know straight away, this guy's honest, he's reliable. How good is this? This is really nice. Because how many times have you organized a tradie for instance, to come to your house to do a job. Everyone's had this issue before. Might not be a trader, it could be an online guy, it could be anyone, and they don't turn up. They come home and they go, oh shit, he didn't turn up. They try to ring him, goes to voicemail, 
oh, you said you were going to come today, but you didn't come. You know, and all this, no communication and all this type of stuff. No, no, big no, no, lost the job. So communication is key. Uh, visual is the number one key, especially for advertising. Um, and the more you're honest and reliable and do a good job, the more word of mouth jobs that you'll get in the future. Now that's what I've got now. It's just all word of mouth. Um, I'm still with Yellow Pages, uh, although I've tried to t try to cancel the Yellow Pages listing, but it's still there. I'm still getting calls about it. You know, oh, can you come in our area? We're in your area. Let's look, you know, blah blah. We looked at it on Google Maps. Come and give us a quote. All this type of stuff. But the ones that I'm getting a lot more now are word of mouth. A lot of you guys out there have been running your businesses for quite a long time now, quite a few years, probably agree with me as well. Google, I mean, you know, it's a free listing through Yellow Pages and, you know, it's, it's quite successful doing it that way because people feel more friendlier, okay, this person's local to us, it's a lot more safer. I don't want anyone else coming to my backyard and you know, all this type of stuff. There's a lot of security, safety issues, or, you know, all this type of stuff. So there are little things to think of as well. But anyway, guys, I'm just throwing it out there to help anyone that might be struggling, you know, little things like that. Put in the comments if you want anything else mentioned or, or described or understood or whatever this case may be. And if I can help, I can. Um, by all means, if you want to, I can always post um, a picture of the flyer that I used to use. Um, I can always send it to you, email it to you, or I'll put it in one of the videos, I might even do that. Um, but anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Catch you later, bye.